Pal World is a fascinating mashup of genres that immediately feels inspired by some of the Nintendo's biggest franchises, particularly Pokemon and the more recent Zelda games. However, this game sets itself apart by introducing a survival element that makes its base building, crafting, and creature collecting into one experience. Released in early access, Pal World already offers a surprising amount of content despite some stumbles in the originality and the polish. At its core, Pal World takes the familiar formula of catching and training creatures, as seen in the Pokemon, and adds a survival twist. Players aren't just collecting pals to battle other creatures, they're also tasked with building bases, crafting tools, and managing resources to ensure survival. This fusion of genres makes Pal World stand out from the other creatures collecting games by offering a deeper and a more varied experience. The crafting and resource management elements are solid without being too overwhelming, and the survival aspect feels well integrated, adding an additional layer of the strategy to the gameplay. One of the Pal World's biggest strengths it is art direction. The pals, which are the creatures players collect, are designed with a lot of charm and creativity. Many of them are memorable with unique designs that make discovering and capturing new ones exciting. The world itself is a massive, vibrant and full of life, with distinct regions that are fun to explore. Each new area feels different, offering fresh pals and resources, keeping exploration from becoming monotonous. Even though the game it is still in early access, the sheer size of the world and the variety of pals to discover is impressive for an indie title. There's always something new to find or do, and this makes the exploration aspect of Pal World one of its most rewarding features. Despite its shortcomings, Pal World has a gameplay loop that is incredibly addictive. The progression in the game feels fast and rewarding, with new pals and materials being unlocked in a steady pace. Now, of course, it really depends what kind of settings that you choose to do so within the game. Building your base, catching pals, and crafting new equipment all happen quickly enough to keep you engaged, but not so fast that it feels like you're rushing through the game. For players who enjoy a bit of grind and min-maxing their resources, Pal World offers a satisfying loop that makes it hard to put down. The creature collecting mechanics are familiar but enjoyable. Each pal you capture has its own abilities and can be used for various tasks. From battling enemies to helping gather resources or even being put to work in your base. This adds an interesting layer to the strategy to the game, as you must decide how best to use each pal. Though I haven't fully developed into the multiplayer aspect of the game, Power World clearly has a great potential in this area. The idea of teaming up with friends to explore the world, build bases and fight off enemies together sounds like a blast. Cooperative gameplay could elevate Power World to another level, making the experience even more enjoyable for those who like playing with others. I'm particularly excited to see how multiplayer will develop as the game evolves, especially with its feature like PvP and group raids already on the, on the roadmap. What sets Pal World apart from other survival and creature collecting games it is its quirky and often absurd gameplay moments. It doesn't take itself too seriously, and this adds a lot to its charm. One minute you're managing resources and building your base, and in the next you're riding a flying dragon while wielding an assault rifle and shooting at the enemies. It's this mix of ridiculous and the fun that keeps Pal World engaging, providing plenty of laugh out loud moments that makes the game stand out. Now, even though there are some positives, unfortunately there are negatives. While Pal World offers a lot of fun and excitement, it's hard to ignore how much it borrows from the other popular franchises, especially Pokemon. Many aspects of the game feels like they've been lifted directly from Pokemon without adding much originality. While this doesn't necessarily ruin the game, it does give the impression that Pal World missed the opportunity to innovate and create something truly unique. In a gaming landscape where it's increasingly difficult to make something completely fresh, it's understandable that developers draw inspirations from ex existing titles. 
However, games like Temtem have proven that it's possible to take the creature collecting genre in a new and exciting direction. Power World, while it's fun, feels a bit too familiar at times, and I often found myself wishing it had pushed the envelope a little bit further. As much as I have enjoyed Power World, its core gameplay loop can feel overwhelming at times. The game throws a lot at you, catching pals, gathering resources, building bases, crafting equipment, and it can be difficult to manage everything. The tasks can pile up quite quickly, and for the players who prefer a more streamlined experience, this may feel like a grind. While some will enjoy the depth of the game's mechanics, others may find it a bit too much to juggle. The loop can also feel a bit lengthy and repetitive after extended play session. The excitement of the discovering new pals and building your base is great at first, but after a while the game starts to feel like it's repeating itself. A bit more variety in terms of the open world elements and events or unique encounters would help break up the routine and keep things feeling fresh. One of the more frustrating aspects of PAL world is the task management, which are pals at the base. It's not as smooth as it could be, and there are times when the control feels quite clunky, especially when trying to manage multiple tasks at once. The AI for the PALs also leaves a lot to be desired, particularly during the combat. PALs don't always respond quickly or intelligently, which can make certain battles more frustrating than they should be. Fine-tuning the AI and improving the task management system would go a long way towards improving the overall gameplay experience. Base building is a central part of the PAL world, but unfortunately, it feels underdeveloped comparing to the other survival games. The process is often tedious, and the mechanics lack the depth and polish needed to make it truly enjoyable. For a game that places so much emphasis on base building, this is a significant weak point. More intuitive controls and the additional building options would greatly enhance this aspect of the game. As with many early access games, PAL World suffers from a share of bugs and performance issues. PALs occasionally clip through the environment, there are occasional glitches during the combat, and some systems don't always work as intended. While these bugs don't completely ruin the experience, they do disrupt the flow of the game and can be particularly be annoying when they occur during the key moments. Now, despite its all of the flaws, Power World offers a fun and engaging experience, especially for the fans of the survival and creature collecting genres. Its quirky charm, addictive gameplay loop, and a massive world provide hours of the entertainment, even if the game is occasionally stumbles in terms of the originality and polish. The multiplayer potential is also something to look forward to, with the promise of the cooperative gameplay adding an exciting new dimension to the experience. And being that the game is almost 30 bucks, Power World is a solid investment, especially in the current state of the AAA games. While it's still an early access and has some rough edges, the developers have laid out the ambitious roadmap with the exciting features like PvP, group raids, and crossplay. If you're looking for a fun, addictive game with plenty of content and the potential for the growth, Power World is worth keeping an eye on. You know, just to summarize, Power World is an ambitious but fun survival game that mixes familiar elements with quirky surprises. While it's far from perfect, it offers a lot for the players who enjoy creature collecting types, base building, and exploration. With some more polish and updates, it could become a standout title in this sort of genre. Thank you so much for watching, like, and subscribe. I see you guys all, and have a wonderful day.